three. Everybody's talking about it. Today's the day a total solar eclipse will cross the country for the first time in seven years. But even though the greater Sacramento area is not in the path of totality, we'll still get a little bit of a show in the sky, as Rob was just talking about. ABC 10's Monica Coleman joining us now live in Sacramento. Beautiful vista behind her. So, Monica, what are we going to see? Well, Walt, there's a lot to see if you look up in the sky today. Make sure you have the correct safety glasses if you want to do so. But we do have some other tricks if you didn't get your glasses in time. It is eclipse day in America, but the Sacramento region, we are not in what is called the path of totality, meaning it will not get completely dark in the middle of the day. We're going to have a solar eclipse that will be visible from here in Sacramento, California. Um, people actually might be thinking this is not that big of a deal because we've actually had like three in the last decade, but I promise you that is very rare. We will have the moon covering up a third of the sun, says Kyle Waters with the Sacramento State Planetarium. For Monday's eclipse, the excitement will happen this morning. At 10.15 a.m., the moon will start to cover the sun. The maximum coverage will be around 11.15 a.m. Make sure you have proper eyewear to experience the eclipse safely, but if you do not have the regulated glasses, experts I spoke to say, try this. My favorite tricks is just go and find like a colander or a strainer from your kitchen and take it outside and kind of like hold it up so that it casts a shadow on the ground. And all of the little tiny holes in your strainer will make little tiny images of the sun on the ground. And during the eclipse, those little images will have the little bite missing out of them. If you turn back the clock a couple thousand years, people didn't know eclipses were going to happen. And there were all types of different reactions that different cultures had throughout history. But now we know exactly when an eclipse is going to happen down to the minute. But that's not the case for animals. Birds are one of the ones that seem to be kind of the most confused by this. Um, anyone who like owns chickens, you might see that your chickens start kind of heading back to the roost. Like they think it's nighttime, like time to go back home and go to bed. So as for our four legged friends here in the Sacramento region, they won't be affected too much because we are not in the line of totality. It will be like a cloud or, you know, another cloudy day for them. But again, this is a historic day for everybody in North America. We won't see another solar eclipse until 2044. Back to you. Yeah, Monica, I'm just thinking about all the kids in elementary school who are probably going to go outside with their glasses today, even though we can't really see it. And just to get a glimpse, but next one coming around, there'll be adults and they can go to Texas or wherever they need yeah. to go to be in the path of totality. So that's pretty cool. All right. Thanks, Monica. I plan on being confused and like, nap time. It's <laughs> after lunch. It must be nighttime. ABC News plans to cover the eclipse today with a live two-hour event called Eclipse Across America. It starts at 11 a.m. and we'll have it right here on ABC 10.